Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I'm going to show you how to change a color photograph into black and white using NX Studio by Nikon. So the function to do this is a little bit hidden, but it's also in a sense in plain sight. Uh, it took me a while to find this function on this. But basically we go over here to uh, basic edit palettes and uh, right here at the top under uh, picture controls where we can adjust contrast and saturation there's a profile right here now if you don't see these extra uh, functions here if you click this uh, triangle it collapses and expands the functions so if you don't see them just click that um, triangle so over here this drop down box gives us all these different options and these are different picture profiles that you may want to start out with uh, but Right here is one called monochrome, and if we click on that, it converts the photograph to black and white. But it also has a lot of uh, things that you can uh, do to adjust the photograph. For example, you can adjust the contrast and the brightness down here. Uh, but some of the more interesting functions appear down here that are specifically for a black and white photograph. So we have a filter effect down here uh, and it, it emulates if you are taking black and white film and you put a colored filter over um, your lens, the color filter will make any color that's the same color as the filter bright and it will make the complementary color darker. So if we go down here, let's switch back to the color photograph. You'll see this is a red uh, shed and up here is blue sky. So if we go down here and we uh, go back to monochrome and we go to color filter effect, if we click on yellow, it darkens the sky because it's complementary to yellow. Also, the red brightens up a little bit because there's some yellow and red. We can do the same thing with orange and you can see it brightens the shed even more and darkens the sky more and the most dramatic is gonna be red. Red will always darken the sky the most of all of the color filters and you can see right here it gets very dark and the the uh, shed gets very bright and uh, the, the, the final uh, one is green and uh, there's no green foliage in this uh, photograph because it's taken in the fall uh, but if there were green foliage it would tend to brighten that up a little bit but not as extremely as the red filter brightens up this barn in most cases so uh, let's just turn those off for now and uh, I'm actually going to add the yellow and darken the sky slightly because I think that looks a little bit better. Basically what you do is you can use the uh, colored filters as trial and error to see what you like uh, or if you like the effects of them depending on the photograph. The other thing that we have down here is this function called toning and so by default it's just regular black and white toning. We can click on it and make it sepia uh, to emulate a sepia tone print or we can tone it to emulate a cyanotype type print uh, and we have uh, other uh, tones down here uh, if we want it to be red or blue this blue right here actually to me looks more like the correct color of a cyanotype than the uh, cyanotype uh, um, filter. Actually the cyanotype filter to me looks more like it's um, selenium tone. But anyway you can try these different toning types to see which ones you like or which ones work the best for you. So that's how you uh, make a color photograph black and white using NX Studio by Nikon. This has been Photo Blue and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.